My name is Aaron Hickson. I've been with Vinify for almost 10 years now. I'm on Vinify's product management team, and my specific focus is with the TLS Protect product. Validation is important for any inventory uh, management solution. Uh, for example, when you're going to the department store, and once a week, you'll probably notice that a bunch of people are out in the aisles scanning their inventory. And what they're doing is making sure that what they have in the computer system is in line with what they have actually on the shelves or in the right places. Similarly, with a solution like TLS Protect, making sure that your inventory is accurate is a critical aspect of making sure that what you have in inventory is really what's deployed inside your network. Yep. So TLS Protect has a really neat dashboard in the sense that there's three widgets that you could add to your certificate dashboard. And they're focused on three separate areas. The first one is around uh, your in-entity certificates. So there's about a dozen different checks that it does to make sure that the right thing is installed in the right place. The second is your protocols to making sure that you're using uh, safe versions of TLS. The last one is checking on your root certificates and intermediate certificates. One example I wanna highlight with your intermediate certificates is that it's a common problem, especially as you're refreshing your internal PKI, is that the chain that's installed on your web server may expire before your in entity certificate. So you may have, for example, six months left on your in entity certificate, but your intermediate chain may be expiring in the next 45 days. Validation is gonna pick up on that and warn you about it because if you don't take action, not only are you going to have an outage on this particular system, but if it's an example of a systemic problem, it, you may have a multi-system outage on your hands. Um, another example of checking with TLS Protect is, um, well, so taking a step back, you know, we're really big on automation here, um, whether it's, you know, using our push provisioning drivers or pull provisioning drivers, but we know that that's not always something that you could do. So some, People need to, we will automatically renew the certificate with our CA integrations, but then it's left to end users to manually install. Sometimes they forget to do that installation or they forget to install on, a, on one of many locations that the certificate needs to be installed on. Validation checks for that. And when we see that the certificate that's installed is the previous version, we'll let you know and let you know that an outage is imminent. So that way you can take corrective action before you have a system failure. So uh, there's three things that you're gonna wanna do. Uh, so number one, and this might be counterintuitive, but we want you to, to uh, disable your validation notifications. Why? Because uh, too many notifications too soon, you know, might be like drinking from a fire hydrant. And instead, what we want you to do is to, is set up a custom report that focuses on validation failures and, and you can figure that report to send it to your end users, that's going to give them a kind of a roll up notification of all the certificates they're responsible for that are having validation issues. And you could choose the frequency that that gets sent out. For example, at the beginning, you might wanna say once a week. The last thing that I want you to do is once your end users have gotten used to uh, receiving those emails and uh, taking action on the validation failure information, uh, you could go ahead and go back to using the notifications because that's going to give them information uh, as soon as we've detected it and instead of having to wait for that, that roll up. Still have questions? Turn to Venify, the machine identity experts. Check out our channel or visit venify.com to learn about all things encryption, certificate management, and more.